YouTube. This your boy, Mr. B, the Backyard Barbecue. And we opened this box. And uh, let's see what we got in here. Amazon. Amazon, Amazon. Show y'all what I ordered. Bam. Let's see what we got. Damn. I don't know if you can see that. But we're going to talk about what it is anyway. Uh, damn, that's already old. Let's see here. All right. Cool. Two of these. Yup. Home and kitchen. Two of them. Anyway, let me put this box to the side. Let's get to it. So, I was looking for an upgrade to some of my products and uh, my barbecue meat, meat thermometer, the probe. Uh, my plan is to do a, a barbecue pig sometime in the near future and using my, my old way of uh, doing things, using the uh, thermometer, wireless thermometer, I can only do one piece of meat and one and one temp because it's a two probe setup. What I mean by that is, if you look at the back of this, uh, it says probe one, probe two. So that means I can stick a probe in here on each side and one is for barbecue, which is what they call barbecue, is the actual temp of the grill and one for meat, All right? So that means if I got a, a, a pig, I can only stick it in one, one, one spot on the pig. So uh, it's good if you're doing a ham or a brisket because like I said, you only need it in the big part or you're doing a chicken or a turkey because you stick it in the breast and you, once that breast is done, then you're good, right? But when you do a pig, I'll need tips in, in various places. You know, you got uh, different piece, different types of meat on that pig. So what I did was, obviously, if you saw one of my earlier videos, being a nut, I set up my old temp gauge. This is a ready check 733 model. Let me show you the base of it, though. Dang. Pretty big, right? It's a little bit bigger than the other one. But anyway, I'm going to tell you what it does or the benefits of this one versus my old 722. So my 722 allowed me to do exactly what I just told you. Two probes, one barbecue, which is the temp of your actual grill, and one piece of meat. Well, this one is a little bit more versatile, and it does all of that, but now I have the option of doing two pieces of meat. It's still two probes, so that's two pieces of meat, or one for meat and one for the temp on the grill, or two for the temp of the grill. So that's good for me because I can use both of them at the same time, my old one and my new one, which will give me four probes, right? I can do my old probe, my old uh, wireless temp gauge with uh, one barbecue, one piece of meat, and then do this one with two pieces of meat, which gives me the opportunity to cook three pieces of meat or one big pig with three probes in it and still find out the temp on my, uh, my Shirley Fab. So it gives me a little more versatility. So that's the reason why I upgraded to this one, right? Let me tell you why I bought these though. These are waterproof for one. And doesn't have a writing on there, but these are six feet long. Alright. Why does six feet matter to me? Six feet for me? So anytime you buy one of these, it comes with the probes. I got two probes in here, but they're only three feet long. Alright, for your normal barbecue or whatever, if for a standard grill, a Weber kettle, my shirt, I mean not my shirt, my uh, Smoky Mountain Weber. Uh, those type of smokers, it works fine because three feet is more than enough. But when I'm using my Shirley Fab, this thing is 60 inches long, just the uh, the uh, the main chamber. So when I'm doing that, you gotta keep in mind, uh, you gotta keep in mind that when I'm doing this, six feet gives me the opportunity to the way I set it up so it doesn't uh, get hot and burn up. Is three feet only allows me to do one side of my grill. So if I got meat on the other side, and in this case, like I was saying, I'm gonna do a pig, so the pig's obviously gonna stretch the entire length. Three feet won't cut it. So the six feet will give me an opportunity to use this one to plug in there, and I can run my cables through the same setup and go all the way to the end and put it in various uh, sections of the meat, uh, just so I can get tips as it cooks. So it'll let me know how I need to move the meat, you know, turn it around, flip it over, etc. So that's how we roll with that. It's not new to me because I bought this once before and actually took it back, actually shipped it back. 
just cause uh, I decided for an upgrade. The four pro, ready check. I haven't seen them make a four pro, but they make four pros for the. Uh, damn, what was the name of them people? I don't know, Apple, Apple II or something like that. Uh, it's like a red device that you uh, it's magnetic stick on there. It's got four pros. Comes with two pros. You got to buy the other two, additionally. But uh, now nah, what I did was I bought that one, and then I realized with all the four pro uh, setups, it only comes with one main unit. Not specific looking like this, but I'm showing you the main unit. It shows you tips. But then actually it's like this. Um, this part that sticks on the grill or a place around the grill and all your probes go into it. And then you don't get a remote unit that tells you, hey, these are what my tips is throughout the cook. You have to use your cell phone, your eye touch, or something like that. Uh, hold on for a minute. Hey, 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 can y'all keep it down? Y'all fucking up a video, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, like, I can talk, but y'all just talking in my video. I'm gonna have to edit that part now. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's what you get on Thanksgiving. But anyway, yeah, um, like I was saying, with this, you pretty much, uh, uh, that's the reason why I decided not to go with the 4 Pro because it only gives you about 30 feet. 30 feet, 30 feet if you got a big house or uh, you decide to go across the street, whatever. Uh, you can't check your tips because it'll disconnect. And if you disconnect for like over a minute, it'll shut off. Then you got to go through the whole hassle of setting it back up. So 30 feet wasn't optimal for me just in just because, uh, you know, in testing it out doing various things, it would shut off on me, it would beep, telling me it's disconnected. So I opted to go with the uh, the two probe and just use it with my old one instead of just getting rid of my old one and using a four probe. So just food for thought, note for the day. Uh, I'll do another video showing you how the operation of this works. So comment below, let me know if you already got one of these. Tell me how you like it, man. It's Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll let your boy. Peace.